when you Charles moments in an unforgettable minute. Lucy and Scott celebrate with the adoption of their daughter Christina. At the christening, happiness turns to tragedy as Kevin is stabbed at the church. As Kevin recovers, the nurse's strike causes emotions to unravel. Julie drops a bomb and tells everyone she's Christina's mother. So to keep Christina, Lucy and Scott get married. Estelle attacks Eve moments before Kevin and Eve exchange wedding vows. Then, Julie kidnaps Christina and escapes in a fiery explosion, and everyone thinks she's dead. Jamal covers for Allison, who doesn't remember she's the one who killed Cedric in self-defense. Kevin discovers Livy is his daughter. Ian and Eve give in to desire, and Jack and Livy share a passionate kiss. Then Rachel will stop at nothing to find a cure for her mother. In the process, almost kills Lucy and tries to drown herself. Ian decides to tell Eve his true feelings as a car bomb explodes that rocks the town. Poor Charles, never miss a moment. Soapnet, devoted to soaps and you. Tonight, Soapnet offers you three... It's poor Charles. If I love Kevin so much, why can't I get Ian out of my head? I'm going to get the happiness that I deserve. Good luck, gentlemen, and hasta la vista, baby. A burning memory, a new beginning. It's all in the hands of fate. Poor Charles' fate, it was meant to be. Coming up next, right here on SoapNet. So, um... How long have you been standing there? Long enough. Well, you know, I guess it's not the uh, first time exactly that you've heard me talking to myself. Well, you weren't exactly talking to yourself, were you? Uh, I, I don't see anybody else in the room. Uh, I see you. Okay, I, I guess I was sort of venting a little. Venting too? Um, maybe it was all the things I'd like to be able to say to Eve. Although I wouldn't do that, Doc. I would never put you in that sort of position. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. But I have to admit, I did almost come this close to bursting her little bubble about, you know, what happened between the two of us. Because she waltzed in here so proud that she bailed me out. Oh, wait a minute. Eve bailed you out? Yeah. Apparently so you wouldn't come to my rescue. And also so she could poke me like a pinata about how I, I shouldn't want to still be a part of your life. Why didn't you call Scott? I did. He was out of town and... Doc, after one night in that ridiculous jail cell, by this morning, you know, I, I tried him again and he wasn't there, so I no, had... Oh, you called me. Yeah. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you're in trouble? Call your very best friend? <sighs> it's just I couldn't exactly get past your head of security. Sorry I wasn't there. Me too, Doc. I'm sorry you weren't there. And I'm sorry for all of this. But you know what I think I'm most sorry for? Is that I have to keep doing this. I have to keep saying, I'm sorry. Well, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of saying it. I don't want to say it anymore. Dr. Denise. Oh, hey, the rumors are true. You clean up pretty good. Thanks, I think. Hey, you, you haven't seen Emilio, have you? Uh, yeah, and he just left what you left in the glove compartment of your rig again. <sighs> Thanks, again. Well, so, who's a lucky lady? There's no lady. I'm just hooking up with some guys at the firehouse for a round of poker. And you always take gardenias to the fellas? Thanks for the wallet. Dr. Smith to OR. Dr. Joanne Smith to OR. Ian. Joe. You want a donut and some coffee? Something. No, no, thanks. All right. Hey, I just uh, ran into that girl on her way into Newman's office. Yeah, what girl would that be? Oh, you know, your, uh, your friend. The one Frank tells me is our new roommate. Ariana. Yeah. So what's going on? I'm not used to living under the same roof with someone I haven't even met. Well, you'll meet her, don't worry. It's only temporary. And there's nothing going on there either. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, bother, is it? It won't be for long. No. All right, no bother at all. Not with me. But does Eve know that the woman who ran her over is uh, going to be staying with you? Karen. Please answer, please answer, please answer. Coming! Hang on! Oh. It's early, you know. Hi, Karen. Eve. Oh, I got bad timing, I guess. 
You're obviously going out. I'm oh, sorry. No, no, no. Don't be silly. I, he's not due for another half hour. Who's he? You know what? Let's not talk about it right now. Will you just come on in? What's going on? You look upset. Is everything all right? What happened? This... This looks like one of those African bracelets that Ian always wears. It is. Oh, where'd you find it? The police gave it to me. The police? Apparently, I was wearing it the night of the accident. And I don't know why. <sighs> okay, did Ian maybe give it to you? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. I can't okay. remember, okay. Karen. All right, all right, calm down. How can I? This whole week, I've been trying so hard to make things work with Kevin. We, we even made love. And, and, and I, I pushed everything else out of my head. But it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. Karen, I need answers. And if I don't get answers soon, I think I'm going to lose my mind. never really told you that I called you? She left a note that she had to run an errand. Never mentioning that I was the errand? Lucy Coe. Ah, uh, that's me here, present, accounted for. I'd kind of watch your step from here on in if I were you. But you're free to go. Thanks. Uh, excuse me, officer. My wife posted bail for Miss Coe. Is she still in the station? Uh, no, she took off the minute she finished signing the papers. Thank you. Okay, great. So you are free, too. You can go run after Eve and track her down. Lucy, I'm not going anywhere until I find out how you wound up in jail. I guess I'm just a very talented woman. All Garcia wanted was to ask some questions about the DNA test. I mean, <sighs> what happened? Were you charged? Well... Yes, uh, she's been charged with obnoxiousness in the first degree. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Why is it every time I come back from being out of town, you're in a bigger mess than when I left? Well, I hear she's a talented woman. I'm a talented attorney, but, you know, there's only so much I can do. We've got the little DNA switcheroo, not to mention assaulting a police officer. Oh, I see. So what are you saying? You're not a talented attorney and not talented enough, so you can't help me out here? Is that it? Oh, what I'm saying... No, you know what? I, I can't hear what you're saying right now. I just spent the night in a cell, and I want to get out of here, so I don't want to hear what you have to say right now. Do you understand? Yes, but... Uh... Wait, just stop. Let me put it this way. The only sound I want to hear is the sound of little water trickling out of my nice, clean tub's faucet in my nice, clean hotel room, and if you want to ball me out and tell me everything I did wrong, then do it later. Well, I, I would, but... No, pal. Tomorrow. Don't blame her for this, Scott. I think it's as much my fault she got into this mess as anything. I think it is your fault. I think you're going to have to get her out of this mess now. What are you trying to say to me, Joe? I'm not saying anything. I'm only asking. Hmm. And I'm telling you, whatever Eve knows or doesn't know about Ariana, none of your business. Is that clear? Crystal. Good. And if you have a problem with me helping Ariana, you let me know, won't you? Has anybody ever told you you got a lousy personality? Sure, all the time. Sorry. I just... No, that's all right. Don't forget it. Kevin and Eve are renewing their wedding vows. And, um... Well, she made it perfectly clear that... Whatever happened in those two weeks... That's gone. She doesn't want to know about it. Maybe it's for the better. Maybe. Maybe not. Meaning what? Meaning what do you want, Ian? I want her happiness, Joe. And whatever went on between us, that's, um... Just a moment in time, that's all. That's all. That's all. Now that moment's gone, forever. 
Please don't tell me to calm down, Karen. I'm half out of my mind. Well, at least half. I'm serious. I've been trying so hard to make things work with Kevin. You know, just the tiniest thought of Ian, I just push it right out of my mind. But? But the other night when I was going into the lighthouse, there he was, Ian. And um, I just fainted right into his arms. That's how much this is affecting me. And now this. Well, what about it? When I got this, I had this um, memory or, or fantasy or whatever, like this movie playing in my head. About him giving you the bracelet? Yeah. It was Christmas. And we danced. And it was so romantic. Only you don't know if it really happened. Something happened. I just don't know. You don't know what? I don't. Karen, okay, you know, I need answers. I need answers. The only way I'm gonna get Ian out of my mind is to find out the truth. Fine, only where do you look for it? The only place I can. Where it all happened. Or didn't. I'm going back to where Harris kept us captive. Eve, yes. no way, I, I have to go. And I'm going. This? I'm not asking your permission, Karen. It's too dangerous. You can't stop me. Then I'll go with you. No. Don't even argue with me. I'm every bit as stubborn as you are, so let me throw on some clothes and we're out the door. Wait a minute. What about your plans? Well, I'll postpone them. Look, Eve, you've always stuck by me, no matter what I was going through, and I've been through a lot. So don't ask me not to be there for you when you need me. Besides, he'll understand. <clears throat> Speak of the devil. Wait, Karen, um, I don't want anybody to see me like this. I, okay. I don't really feel like small talk. All right, I understand. Um, uh, the bathroom. Okay, hurry, right, the bathroom. The bathroom, right. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Hide my purse. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Hi, Frank. Uh, may I say you look terrific in that most unusual outfit. Uh, I, I, I guess I'm early, huh? I must be looking forward to this more than I thought. You know what? I've been looking forward to it, okay, too. Well, so now we've had a rehearsal. Tell me how much time you need, and I'll come back. I can't go. I am so sorry, Frank, but something came up last minute, and it was too late for me to call you. It, it's, it's kind of a family thing. Just out of nowhere, I was getting ready, and oh, yeah, I Yeah, just... yeah, I, I see that. that you, you, you weren't expecting whatever it is, but it, it, it happens. I understand, no big deal. I, I'm sorry, could we do this another time? Oh, yeah, 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 sure, you bet. We, uh, we have these, these paramedic banquets all the time, you know, uh, another month, uh, another citation dinner. So ne next time around. Frank, I so apologize. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you. Right. Frank. So what happens now? With me? I got my hands full with a new housemate. Oh. So now she's our new housemate. She's, uh, she's got some problems with her family. Problems? Like what? Well, for one thing, she's got a loose cannon of a brother running around town. Oh, sorry to hear that. Hope he doesn't have plans to stop by the house when Neil is there. He won't. I'm working on it, believe me. I'm trying to get Ariana out of Port Charles and set up somewhere else and safe. As soon as possibly, best for all of us. So, what about you when she's gone? Won't that leave a little too much peace and quiet in your life? Yeah, maybe so. Any plans on how to fill it? There's a whole lot of world out there I haven't seen yet, Joseph. Oh, well, you, you know, you tried leaving once before. Look what that got you. 
Kidnapped, almost killed. Make a heck of a movie, huh? Depends on how you feel about happy endings. Well, how do you feel about them? If they're deserved, there's nothing better. And Eve worked for hers. Now, don't begrudge her that one minute. Kevin's a good guy, and he'll do right by her. And you? I'll do right by her by staying away. Listen, what's, what's going on with you and Lucy is none of my business, but when I see what's happening to her and what you're doing to her... What are you talking about? I'm talking about that she's very close to losing it, you know? Don't you think she's been hurt enough? By me? Yes, by you. She's hanging on to something, Kevin, that's never gonna happen. Meaning what? Meaning that if you don't tell her that you and her are never gonna have a future, she's gonna go on dreaming. Scott... I have tried to let her know. But not enough, you know? I mean, all of a sudden, things happen, and she gets involved in your life. And, you know, she's addicted to you. All right, look, No, I'm Scott. serious. She's like a junkie here, you know? You got to stop her. You got to just tell her that it's never going to work, and you got to really mean it. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Listen, if you know anything about me, it's that you know that I would never deliberately hurt Lucy. I'm not saying that it's deliberate. You know, I'm, I'm just as guilty as you are, you know? I've done the same things. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes I have, and I did, didn't mean to do it, nor do you, but the, the trouble with Lucy is that she's just keeps coming back, and then she just stands there, and she takes it from both of us. It's like... Like the uh, helpless little victim that I am, is that it? Two soaps set in Port Charles. Uh, hiya, Lucy. Lucy, he's right. I'm sending you mixed signals, and I have Mike to Hill, stop. Like hell you are, Doc. I pick up on your signals. I read them loud and clear. You want me, and I want you. But by the way, I am not a victim. Not anybody's victim. But not I... anybody's. But I understand the message you're trying to get to me, okay? And as for you... I was. Uh, I know what you were trying, trying to do, Scott. You were, you were just trying to help me. Well, I don't want your help, so butt out. But you know, no, I, I no, tend no. To... Listen to me. I don't want either one of your help. Do you understand? I don't want either one of you feeling sorry for me either. Because while I was out there, I had this very interesting thing going on inside of my head while you two were in here feeling sorry for me. I had an epiphany. Huh? I had. A light bulb go off in my head, a great oh, big fat one that okay. said, Lucy, you don't need these two. You don't need either one of them, and I certainly do not need any of this. Listen, Lucy. No, I don't want to listen, Doc, anymore. I'm tired of listening. I want both of you to listen to me, okay? If you want to go off and you want to be with Eve, that's your choice, then by all means, you go and do that. And you, listen to me. If this is it, if you really want to start your whole life over, if you want to go rekindle something with Laura, then by all means, go out and do it, because I am done. I am done sitting around like a poor little victim, sitting here waiting for happiness to fall out of the sky and just find me somehow. I'm going to go out and find my own happiness. I'm going to make my own decisions. I'm going to choose my own choices, and I am going to get the happiness that I deserve, because I am Lucy Coe, and I deserve great, great deals of happiness. And so I'm not going to wait for it to come, Doc. Do you hear me? I am going to get it, and you are not going to have me, and this is all your loss. So good luck, gentlemen, and hasta la vista, baby. Ta. Uh, Dr. Newman just called. She said she'd be with that friend of yours for at least another hour. Oh. All right, well, I'll be around. I've got that beeper thingy with me, so... Okay, well, I'll let you know when they're through, then. Perfect. Dr. Hope, oncology. Dr. What is it now? What? Oncology. Modern knight in shining armor. Here he stands, ladies and gentlemen. 21st century Lancelot, huh? Well, you're lucky I left my sword in someone else's chest. Otherwise, it'd run you through. Look, I, I'm, I'm serious. I, the things you do sometimes are pretty impressive. What are you talking about? I just hope uh, this Ariana girl knows how lucky she is to have you on her side. My bet is uh, when this little adventure's over, you'll have saved her neck just the same way you saved Eve's. Ah, well, Eve was different. Yeah, I know. Maybe you don't know. She's different than anyone else I've ever met. But that chapter's over now, and the Ariana chapter's not going to start for another hour, so... What do you say the boys go down to the recovery room and have some drinks on me? Yeah, it just so happens I have a bottle of that Irish whiskey you like. 
hidden behind the bar. So what are we waiting for? Great. Only, um, what? Let's save the Irish for another night. I kind of feel like a kamikaze. Eve's drink, huh? Sure, pal. Kamikaze it is. see every crack in the walls with my eyes closed. You didn't do this place justice when you talked about it. You spent almost a month locked up here? When I look at it now, it seems like it was a lot longer than a month. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? It could have been worse. I could have been alone. I guess, if you say so. You know what? It's it's okay. I'm fine, really. I'm all right. It, it's not it's not so bad when being here again. I mean, you know, when I think of some moments that we had, they weren't so bad. But they never found the body, did they? I mean, the guy that kidnapped you and Ian and locked you here, well, Harris. Not that I heard of. You are sure he's dead or at least gone well, from this yeah. place? Yeah. Why 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 wouldn't he be gone? Everything else is gone. And we walked through just about this whole compound just now, and we didn't see anybody. You can't be sure. I mean, not 100%. No, not 100%. Oh, what? Oh. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Child. Charles. I love you so much. I know why you don't really want me to stay here, and... It's about Eve. Maybe you and Ian really did, you know. I was just thinking the same thing. If you thought raising kids was difficult, just wait till you see what Erica Kane has to deal with today. All My Children is coming up next, right here on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. You never know who you'll bump into on All My Children. Coming up on Soap.